My friend Kat out for a very belated 30th birthday and we are going to a restaurant called La Foot and I just think that sounds so cute it literally translates to the foot and I want to show you my outfit because I think it's really cute I did my nails recently Yay! shout out to my nail ladies and they match my cute pink dress and I am officially a full-blown brunette I got my roots done and I'm loving it it's a vibe <laughs> Airport, literally by the skin of our teeth. We were going to check in bags, but when we had arrived at the airport, the check in bag drop was already closed. So we just took it in, and luckily, we didn't pack too much, so it's fine for carry on. When we got through the gates, we saw that the flight had actually been delayed. So now we can relax a little bit, have a little bit of food, and the real holiday begins now. <laughs> Jesses came up to us and they were like Will and Jen and we were like oh no what have we done but apparently we both had a $10 credit on our account so we got free food and drink Will got a banana bread banana bread stock protein five grams solid <laughs> free tea baby I got a noodles and a tea as well yay what a good start to the trip <laughs> officially landed in Melbourne and just checked into our place and it's so cute it's this little studio apartment with a living room and a little bathroom but it's so central and so convenient and I'm excited to explore now Will forgot a jacket and I only have a fluffy jacket that's probably more appropriate for going out so we're gonna hit the shops up and see what we can find <laughs> We just walked into the most aesthetic bookstore. When I was a kid, my parents would drop me off in bookstores and they would go and do their shopping and I would just bury myself in whatever I was reading. It felt like such a happy and safe place and so when I just walked past this, I felt like I had to come in. Fun fact, Will actually used to live and work in Melbourne for about six months when we first started dating and he used to live on Little Collins Street so he remembered this little ramen bar and now we're here. Every time we come to a Japanese restaurant that has taco wasabi, I have to get it because it is my all-time favorite. Mm. Mm. This is literally where Will used to live, right down there. Just checked out my old place, had a routine of waking up and going to the gym that was that way. All these nice restaurants around here, that's all changed but. Interesting to see what stayed the same and what's different. Because it was like seven years ago now, right? The tea house is still there. Yeah, <laughs> 17, so yeah, seven years ago. Seven years ago. Wow, we've been dating for a long time. That was about a year into us dating. We are back in our little service department in Melbourne and I have to say that when it comes to fashion and shopping, Melbourne really does do it better. We basically just spent the entire day browsing the shops and walking around. Best thing that I got was this cute hoodie. I really like oversized casual fashion and the fact that this has like a little grumpy line on it, I die. I also bought this oversized zip up hoodie from the same brand and I loved the bright colors as a contrast against the black. I thought it looked so, so fun. The little zipper is a paperclip. We're going to a wedding tomorrow and Will forgot his belt. So we also got a leather belt from LV and it's reversible. So it feels like double the value. A sweatshirt from Lacoste. They were having a 40% sale, so it was basically half the price. Damn, look at Will in his new oh, shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the prep, the prep no, no, no. 
love it. It's true. <laughs> we are at this super cute hole in the wall restaurant. And it's basically like a J barbecue concept with a grill and a hot pot surrounding it. But I am so hungry. We are doing a takeaway egg. <laughs> takeaway. <laughs> Will is a little bit tipsy. <laughs> it was so much fun spending time with my family and laughing and bonding. And I'm excited to see them tomorrow. Holidays. No excuses. Got to get after it. I am currently just warming up with a mug of warm water because it is noticeably colder in Melbourne. And when I travel, I bring all my vitamins with me because when I'm at home, I have my vitamins religiously every morning. Right now I am doing my skincare because my skin's just dry. It's colder here, so my skin is drier here. So I've got to infuse it back with that hydration. We are waiting for our Uber because we are going to the Queen Victoria Market and I'm so excited because I'm so hungry. Finally get some protein in me. Had a big gym session this morning. I did not go to the gym. I vegetated at home. But I'm hungry. We usually have eggs for breakfast and so it's an odd feeling not waking up and cooking our breakfast in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and bear brick. Trying on the hats, I have discovered a hat shop. <laughs> it's not the North Face, it's the Notra Face. They've even got all of these cashmere ladies wool coats. I was expecting the stuff here to be kind of market quality, but the stuff is actually of surprisingly good quality. I'm quite impressed. the cutest concept basically it's this thing called a blind date with a book and there's a little description of the book but you don't know what it is and if you don't fall in love with the book then you can just bring it back and they will swap it out for a book that you will definitely fall in love with that is such a cute way to start reading different titles or authors or genres of books that you wouldn't ordinarily try yeah. I was so hungry this morning and we didn't end up getting any food at Queen Victoria Market because the lines were so long and we knew that we had lunch soon so we didn't want to spoil our appetite but I have just been eating non-stop. The yum cha here is so delicious and there's so much variety. <laughs> After having lunch with my family at Secret Garden Yum Cha, which was so delicious, we went to Chadstone Shopping Mall, which is this gigantic shopping center in Melbourne. And it has a whole bunch of brands and homeware goods. And Will and I looked at wedding rings for the very first time since we've been engaged, which was super exciting. I did see a couple of options that I liked, but because we're still so early on the hunt for the wedding ring, I didn't want to rush into anything. We are actually going to a wedding tonight and the wedding is the whole reason that we are visiting Melbourne in the first place. Our friends Quinn and Mervyn are tying the knot here in Melbourne and we're so honoured to be able to celebrate this special occasion with them. So let's go! Wedding, 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 we've made it!
performance after performance after performance and the food has been so good. It's honestly such an honor and privilege to be here celebrating with our friends. Good morning! Today I'm actually going into the Melbourne office. That's why I'm dressed in all my work clothes. I was thinking what to have for breakfast and the couple actually gave us these wedding favors and it says please enjoy this green tea cookie specially made in Vietnam by the bride's family and I thought what better thing to have for breakfast. The wedding last night was so cool. Mervyn helps run Tang events. They do a whole bunch of clubs like Scarlet, Coco, etc. And so you know it was going to be a wild wedding. The entertainment was incredible. Oh my god, how cute are these little cookies? Luckily, we didn't go too hard because I am going into the office today and I don't want to be dusty and so is Will. So, um, oh my god, whoa, these cookies are really, 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 really oh, wow. good. Like melt your mouth. They remind me of green tea Kit Kats. They taste so delicious. I'm excited to see all my Melbourne colleagues.